everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to if you are new here. In today's video I'm going to be giving you five things that you need to implement for success. So let's get straight into it, shall we? Number one, I literally swear by this, and that is A Miracle Morning. Now there is a whole book written by Hal Elrod called The Miracle Morning, and he has his six principles that he shares on there. I personally like to just see it as like giving yourself an hour where it's just for you and for you to spend time on you. So my maximum miracle morning sesh is like two hours absolute max, but it's usually about an hour and a half to be honest. And what I like to do is I like to do a 10 minute meditation and then I'll do my affirmations, my gratitude and my tasks for the day that I wanna do. And then I will usually like read a chapter from a book and then I will do a training from my business mentors bit like training page. I'll do a training of that, which is usually about an hour. And then that's pretty much my miracle morning done. So it's my hour and a half usually spent just investing in me, not looking at my phone. My phone is on like, do not disturb. I don't even look at it. And it just means that I can focus on what I need to focus on to personally develop and make myself feel good because my miracle morning in the sense of like my meditation and when I'm thinking of gratitude and affirmations they make me feel grounded they make me feel focused and um and then I just personally develop with learning and then it's going into the day with action taking on what I've learned so that is what I would absolutely recommend anybody do is to implement a miracle morning at least a minimum of like an hour if you can't even do that at least do half an hour where you just don't look at your phone give yourself that half an hour to either meditate or read just do something where you are not reacting to anything that's happened overnight while you've been sleeping on your phone tip number two schedule 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 when i'm talking about scheduling i'm not talking about just having a to-do list i am talking about an actual schedule have your to-do list and then and then implement schedule when you're going to do your to-do list that is literally like success habits and 101 to be honest but if you actually schedule in when you're going to be doing the things that you want to be doing you are more likely to do them rather than procrastinating and putting them off. And I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you work in like half an hour time slots. Some things obviously do take a lot longer, but maybe have like half an hour, then have a five minute break, then half an hour. So when I'm editing, for example, that is literally what I do. I will edit for half an hour, have a five minute break, edit for another half an hour, or however long it usually takes me, depending on how long the video is and stuff like that. But if it's gonna be longer than half an hour of editing, if, it, if it's gonna take me an hour or so to edit a video, I will always have like a five minute break or so every half an hour just to get myself, you know, stop myself from procrastinating basically. Tip number three, and this is set some goals. You need to have some sustainable goals that you can actually, that's gonna push you, but also that's not so unrealistic that you're not gonna actually achieve them and you're gonna just be like, oh, this is impossible anyway, I'm not gonna do it. So like when I first, first, first ever started getting into the gym, something that I was trying to do was just implementing at least going once a day. I mean, <laughs> once a week at least I can go once a week because I would tell myself you know if I go once a week like that's better than nothing and I can do once a week like that's shameful if I can't do at least once a week so set a goal for your task or whatever it is you want to do that's going to be attainable tip number four is to find yourself an accountability partner now this for me works pretty well i like to do this sometimes i'll do it daily i don't do it every day but at least weekly i will always sort of give my accountability as to what i've done that week um to my accountability partner so that it's just again it's keeping me accountable and then i can kind of reflect with that person okay you know what i didn't do so well or i didn't hit my goals this week um why didn't i do that i didn't really schedule in the time or maybe i didn't do this or whatever it is and then you can implement what you didn't do for the following week so it's really really good to have an accountability partner that you check in with at least once a week to just see where you're going and to keep you on track and don't lie having an accountability partner is not someone to be like oh you didn't do your homework like it's not like that it's literally someone that is going to keep you accountable so you know we do fall off the bandwagon sometimes 
bandwagon fall off the horse we fall off the horse we'll go with that one we fall off the horse sometimes and it's good to have someone there that you can check in with weekly just to be like do you know what i really struggled this week i didn't do much and they can just be like okay cool like what was it that you tried to implement okay why do you think you didn't do that right okay cool why don't we try that next week maybe you try doing those things like how would you do what would you do differently let's try that next week if that makes sense hopefully that makes sense tip number five for success is genuinely just to fall in love with the process and not the result don't fall in love with the results because the results will come when you're doing the th things that you need to be doing every single day the results will just come so fall in love with the process fall in love with what you have to do every day over the results of what that's going to have as an outcome because results will come in time they might not necessarily come as quick as you want and when you have expectations like that it really puts a downer and it can hit that brick where you're like oh well this is taking a lot longer than i thought Oh, I'm not having, I'm not seeing any results anymore. Like just eliminate the results and just really get, get in tune and just fall in love with the process of growing, of becoming who you need to be, of developing your skill set, of becoming successful in whatever it is you want to become successful in. I don't know, but just fall in love with the process and really, really just allow yourself the time to grow naturally. Stop putting that pressure on yourself with like, oh, I need to do it by this, by tomorrow. Like just no just do what you can do that's attainable reflect implement all that kind of stuff so these are just some stuff that i personally have started to adapt and have my battery died on my camera i really need to invest in another battery so i'm just going to quickly finish this up on my phone but i basically just wanted to say you know these are things that i have personally been implementing and i've really felt so much better less judgmental myself and all of that kind of stuff and just falling in love with the process and just learning 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 so i really hope that this has helped some of you out there at least one of you hopefully fingers crossed but i will see you guys next week with another video and yeah i hope you enjoyed this one thanks